today's session we will be solving a numerical example on the selection of roller chain. The question for today's session is select a roller chain to actuate a compressor from 12 kilowatt motor running at 1200 rpm. The speed of the compressor is to be 480 rpm. The data book used for this numerical example is the one prepared by Mahadevan and Balavir Reddy and published by CBS Publishers and Distributors Private Limited. The given data are the power to be transmitted V is 12 kilowatts. The speed of the driving sprocket N1 is 1200 RPM. And the speed of the driven sprocket N2 is 480 RPM. From the values of N1 and N2, we can determine the velocity ratio I as N1 divided by N2, that is 1200 divided by 480, that is 2.5. Now in the first step, we determine the number of teeth on sprockets. For pinion sprocket, that is Z1, is taken as 25. That is, for a velocity ratio of 2.5, we can obtain the value of Z1 from the table 14.36 in page number 339. So the value of Z1 is 25. So using the value of Z1 and I, we can find out the number of teeth on the wheel sprocket Z2 that is 62.5 since it is to be an integer we uh, take it as 63 when selecting the number of teeth on sprockets it is always better to select odd numbers as the number of teeth this is to give uniform wear in sprockets now in the step 2 we determine the pitch that is the pitch of the chain the empirical relation for the pitch of the chain is given as equation 14.22b in page number 300. So the relation is P in millimeter should be less than or equal to 10 times 60.67 divided by N1, the whole raised to 2 by 3. In this case, N1 is the speed of the small sprocket in RPS. So it can be obtained as 1200 divided by 60, that is 20 RPS, that is revolutions per second. So substituting this value in the empirical relation for pitch, P is obtained as 10 times 60.67 divided by 20 raised to 2 by 3, that is obtained as 20.96 millimeter. So since P should be less than this one, we have to select a close value from the table 13 point, sorry, from the table 14.39A in page number 340 or table 14.39b in page number 341. So from the table 14.39a in page number 340, we get a pitch equal to 90.05 millimeter. This is for chain number 12b and it is of simplex type with a breaking load FU 2950 kilogram that is 28.94 kilonewton. Now in the step 3, we determine the tangential force on the chain. The tangential force F is given as 1000 P divided by V. This is the equation 14.22 C in page number 300. In this equation, the transmitted power P is 12 kilowatts and V is the average speed of the chain which can be obtained from the equation 14.22 A in page number 300. And the relation for the average speed of the chain is V equal to P is at N divided by 1000. In this relation, P is the pitch of the chain that is 19.05 millimeter and Z is the number of sprocket teeth Z that we take it as 25 and the speed of the sprocket in is 20 RPS. So substituting the values of P, Z and N, we obtain V as 9.53 meters per second. Now, substituting the value of P and V in the equation for the tangential force, we get the tangential force F as 1259.2 Newton. We take it as 1.26 kilonewton. In the step 4, we determine the number of chains required. So, first we find out the allowable working load for a single chain. Fw equal to Fu divided by Fs times Ks. And this is given as equation 14.22E in page number 300. In this relation, Fu is the breaking load which is obtained as 22 point, which is obtained as 28.94 kilonewton. 
we take the factor of safety fs as 14 considering bush roller chain this value can be obtained from the table 14.37 in page number 339. Now, KS is the service factor and it is taken as 1.5 considering medium shock and 10 hours per day service. This value is obtained from the table 14.35 in page number 338. Therefore, substituting the values of FU, FS and KS, the allowable working load FW is obtained as 1.38 kN. Since the allowable working load FW is greater than the tangential load that is 1.26 kN, the number of chains required is only 1. Now in the next step, that is step 5, we determine the pitch diameters of the sprockets. The empirical relation for the pitch diameter D is given in equation 14.22 N in page number 301. And the relation is D equal to P divided by sine 180 divided by Z. In this relation, the P is the pitch that is 19.05 millimeter and Z is the number of teeth in the sprocket. Therefore, for pinion sprocket, the number of teeth Z1 is 25 and substituting the values of P and Z1, we get D1 as 152 millimeter. For wheel sprocket, the number of teeth Z2 is 63 and hence we obtain D2 as 382.2 millimeter. Now in the next step, we obtain the length of the chain. The chain length in pictures can be obtained from the equation 14.22K in page number 301 and the relation is LP is 2 Cp cos alpha plus half z1 plus z2 plus alpha into z2 minus z1 divided by 180. In this relation, Cp is the center distance in pitches. So we take it as 40 pitches and this can be obtained from the equation 14.22i in phase number 301. And alpha is the angle of contact. The angle alpha can be obtained as sin inverse d2 minus d1 divided by 2 times c. In this relation, d2 is 382.2 millimeter and d1 is 152 millimeter. c is the center distance in millimeters which can be obtained as p into cp. p is 19.05 and cp is 40. So, c is obtained as 762 millimeter. By substituting the values of d2, d1 and c, we can obtain alpha as 8.69 degrees. The number of teeth in pinion sprocket is z1 equal to 25. The number of teeth in wheel sprocket is z2 equal to 63. Substituting the values, the LP is obtained as 124.92. And we round it to the nearest even integer. So the number of links or the number of pitches in a chain should be an even number. If the number of links in a chain is even number, there will be an equal number of inner links as well as outer links. So we always prefer the number of pitches or the number of links in a chain as an even number. Now we select LP as 124. So the length of the chain L can be obtained as P times LP that is 2362.2 millimeter. Since there is a change in the length of the chain, we have to find out the corrected center distance. So the corrected center distance can be obtained from the equation for the chain length in pitches. By substituting the values of LP, alpha, Z1 and Z2. So in the equation for the chain length in pitches, we substitute the value of LP as 124, alpha as 8.69, Z1 as 25, Z2 as 63 and find out the value of CP. The value of CP is obtained as 39.5366 and therefore the center distance can be found out as P times CP that is 19.05 times 39.5366 that is 753.2 millimeter. Now, 
the specifications of the chain are the chain number is 12b the pitch is 19.05 millimeter the number of teeth in the pinion sprocket is 25 and the wheel sprocket is 63 the pitch diameters of pinion sprocket is 152 millimeter and wheel sprocket is 382.2 millimeter the number of chains is one the length of the chain is 124 pitches or 124 lengths which is equal to 2362.2 millimeter the corrected center distance is 753.2 millimeter and that's all thank you